Good morning. It is Saturday, January 10th, and we're running a little bit behind this morning because, well, we just are. So this morning for my breakfast, I'm doing something a little bit different. We had some spaghetti squash that I made with some garlic butter, and I'm taking that and I'm making my eggs inside the spaghetti squash, so it's like eggs nestled in spaghetti squash. I'll show you a picture of it. All right, well that didn't quite come out exactly how I wanted. I wanted the yolks not to cook quite so much, and that was after only being in the pan for two minutes, but apparently that was too much. This is a new recipe. I've never tried it before, but this is going to be my breakfast today. It looks like we have a mummified Lydia all on the floor. What about you, Mary? Oh, Mary wants my breakfast. Okay, so here's my eggs. Here are my eggs. And they actually aren't too bad. They're runny in the center, just like I wanted them. So, that's good. Now I'm going to eat my, eat my breakfast. We have some squash seeds that have been on the counter for a while. We have to do something with them. And we also made a spaghetti squash, and so we have other seeds. We're going to roast them and dry them and make them yummy. You know, eat them. Now we put a dash of garlic oil in there. Is that a dash? No, I need more than that. Is that a dash? A little bit more. Okay. Good. Salt, pepper, rosemary, and thyme in the bag. Can I put some pepper in? Right, go ahead, yep. Peter. How much? Is that good for thyme? Okay, that's good, Pete, on the pepper. Is this good on the rosemary? Put some salt in. A little bit more, John. Keep going, Daddy. Okay, that's good on the salt. Yep. Okay, John, stop. John, art a little bit more thyme. That's good. Stop. Not much left in the can. You want to go... Mix it up! Spread them out in a thin layer. You'll need your spoon to scrape them all out. Here, John. You can scrape them. Then I'll spread them. Okay. You're going to have to wash your hands afterwards because they're greasy. What are you doing? Are you looking at mommy's candle? Yep, there's my candle. Alright, we'll bake those at 400 for maybe 10 or 15 minutes until they're crunchy. You gotta flip them or, anything, or um, stir uh, them at all? Maybe. Okay. We'll see how they look. Well, we got some food that the chickens will like. That's the leftovers from the squash. Charity just decided to clean out the vent there. What did you find? Oh, that's nasty. All that was in our vent. Well, thank you for cleaning it, Charity. And Lydia found a piece of candy in the vent. I don't think we're going to eat it though. Something we found out since we had two different size of seeds, the smaller ones cooked really fast and then the big ones cooked slowly, so we had to separate them. We're going to cook these ones again. Can I eat this? Mm -hmm. The big difference with these guys is. Um, Let's see how these ones are. These were already dry when we cooked them. They're pretty good. And these weren't. I think that made a difference. Kids made an ice rink on the patio and they're having fun right now. They're sliding around. I got done with the floor about a week ago and the, it's dry, the polyurethane is dry on it and it's ready for stuff to go on it. So I'm repurposing some boards. We had some boards in the house that were used for shelves and we took the shelves out because they were kind of ugly. Hi Mary. I got yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use those for some shelves to put down right there. Creative. They put Lydia on a snow shovel and push her around. They put Lydia on a snow shovel and push her around. That looks like fun. <laughs> I wish I were little. There's the shelf. Okay, it's not pretty, but it's temporary. And it was free, 
and it only took maybe a half an hour to throw together so when I get a chance I'll build something nice but it probably will be a few years away now the kids are getting ready to play hockey and of course they use snow shovels and the puck is a vacuum cleaner belt hey it works I hung up a clothes rack and we also have the shelves for the shoes and Charity neatly put the shoes there so hopefully that keeps things in better shape we will need to keep up on it though what was happening since the boys don't have a closet in their room they use the closet in the other room and stuff just kept getting spewed everywhere and it was making a huge mess and they felt no responsibility for it so uh, hopefully this way they'll feel more responsibility we'll be able to keep on them more and we should be able to keep things neater